welcome back guys this is question 3.27 and the statement of it is the time to failure in hours of an important piece of electronic equipment used in a manufactured DVD player has the density function which is given here okay that is f of x and which is 1 by 2000 exponential of minus x divided by 2000 for x greater or equal to 0 and it is 0 for x less than 0 okay so on the basis of it we are given some parts so let us start the solution of the part a of it and in solving it what we have to do let us solve it here let me first write that what is the density function what we have so that is f of x equal to 1 over 2000 exponential of what minus x divided by 2000 okay so that is what the density function we have in order to find the cdf of it or capital f of x what do we have to do we have to integrate this function from 0 to any unknown value that is let me call it x okay so let me write it here and from 0 to x because it is starting from 0 so let me take it from 0 to x and here writing the density function in another domain and let me choose that domain as small t okay so it would be exponential of minus t divided by 2000 and integrated with respect to t okay so now integrating it what i will get here it will be 1 over 2000 outside of this integrals and here 0 to x exponential of minus t divided by 2000 okay and d of t okay from the previous section we have seen that the integration of the exponential is what if i have a exponential of a x okay so the integral of it with respect to x would be how much so it would be the exponential of a x okay so let me apply the same over here and what i will get here here this f of x would be what it would be the this negative sign here so it will become minus exponential of minus t divided by 2000 okay and the range it has it from 0 to x okay so let me write these ranges here and in writing these ranges here it will be minus and here it will be the higher range here will be the exponential of x divided by 2000 okay and subtracting for it exponential of 0 divided by 2000 okay so these are basically the ranges whatsoever we have okay now simplifying it on the basis of these ranges what i will get here we will get what exponential of 0 is 1 okay and it will be what exponential of sorry here we have minus x okay so here we have the minus x okay so here what we will have this minus 1 become plus 1 because this negative will be multiplied with all of them and it will become what it will become 1 minus exponential of what minus x divided by 2000 okay and that is what that is the value of f of x for all x greater or equal to 0 okay and similarly it will be 0 for all x less than 0 and this is what this is the solution what we wanted to find out here okay so that is what the solution of part a so similarly on the basis of it what i have to find out in part b we are asked that determine the probability that the component and thus the dvd player lasts more than 1000 hours before the component needs to be replaced okay so here what do i have to find out i have to find out the probability that the component lasts more than 1000 hours so if the hours here are capital x so it should last more than 1000 
hours okay so in order to find it out going beyond 1000 is what we have to subtract all the values lower than 1000 in the cdf so it will become 1 minus f of 1000 okay so i hope you have got this point and on the let me also explain it over here as well so if i have the cdf plot here let me have the cdf plot and it is like this one let me have some values here and if i want to find out the value if this is let me call it 1000 okay and if i want to find out the values which are here in this range okay and i know that here ultimately it will convert to what it will convert to 1 okay so what will happen i have to subtract this overall or this area which or we can see that all this area which is the overall here is one so i have to remove this area from it so therefore i have to subtract this one from one okay so this will be this f 1000 which which are basically the lower accumulated values so therefore i have been doing it and these would be the higher values what has been given here in this blue color and which is here this one okay so i hope you have got my point okay so now let me remove it and let me solve it here as well okay so let me write these values here and it will become 1 minus the exponential value here is 1 minus exponential of minus 1000 divided by 2000 okay which is the value given here okay now let me find them out and finding them out i can very easily see that it will become 1 minus 1 plus exponential of this will be minus 1000 by 2000 this will be minus 0 0.5 okay these two will cancel out and ultimately we will have exponential of minus 0 0.5 and the answer of it would be 0 0.6065 okay that is what that is the answer of part b and for it i have used the formula which is given here and i have also explained it on the basis of the graphical illustration okay the last part of it is determine the probability that the component fails before 2000 hours okay means it will reach it will not reach the 2000 hours or it will be malfunctioned before these 2000 hours so let me move down somehow Okay. So, here let me solve this question here and it will be I have to find out the probability that the R's are less than sorry yes 2000. Okay. So, in order to find it out I can very clearly see that in CDF all the previous up to 2000 has been accumulated. So, therefore, I have to find f of 2000 okay so i have hope you have got this point because when this one is like this one okay and it is like let me have here this 2000 so finding the probability here means all the values has been accumulated here because this is the accumulation cdf is basically the accumulation which is represented by f of x and this accumulation is the accumulation of the probability distribution okay so now putting this 2000 here what i will get i will get 1 minus exponential of minus 2000 divided by 2000 okay so here it will be 1 minus exponential of minus 1 and ultimately it will give me what it will give me 0 0.6321 and that is the solution of part c of my question okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the three parts related to the cdf and the probability density function if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon